Let's begin with the latest on Hurricane Irene. We'll get a live report from the Bahamas in a moment. But first, Al is upstairs monitoring the situation. Al, good morning. Well, good morning, Carl. And this is a big storm and getting bigger as we go along. Right now, Irene is a Category 2 storm. It is 105 miles southeast of Grand Turk Island. As we said, Category 2 with 100-mile-per-hour winds moving west-northwest at 12 miles per hour. As we look at where the warnings and watches are right now, we have hurricane warnings up for much of the Bahamas. Senator Domingo. We've got hurricane watches up for the northwestern Bahamas. As this system makes its way to the north, we are probably going to see watches go up along the Florida coastline. Here's the path. Here's what we expect. It will parallel the Florida coast sometime starting Thursday morning during the day Friday, make landfall sometime early Saturday into uh, later Saturday as a Category 3 storm, 120 mile per hour winds. But again, the cone of uncertainty on either side of this is about 200 50 mile radius mile so you could still see a lot of hurricane effects along the coast of Florida and in fact the tropical forest winds spread, spread out about 200 miles so this is going to be a powerful storm as it continues to intensify we expect it to be a category 3 storm and sometime later this afternoon all right thank al you. great information thank you so much and as you mentioned hurricane irene is now bearing down on the bahamas and nbc's lilia luciano is there in nassau hey lilia good morning Good morning to you, and the Bahamas have not seen a storm this strong in six years, and now residents are gearing up for what a Category 3 hurricane means by the time it hits us between tonight and tomorrow morning. Irene is raking through the Caribbean. In Puerto Rico, it dropped 10 inches of rain, flooding streets, tearing up trees, and knocking out power to more than a million people. It's bigger than your average size uh, hurricane. The storm is now picking up strength in the warm Atlantic waters. Under hurricane warning, the Dominican Republic and neighboring Haiti, where heavy rain could be devastating for the 600,000 still homeless since last year's earthquake. Weather experts say the hurricane is now headed straight for the Bahamas and onto the U.S., potentially targeting Florida, Georgia, and the Carolinas. Hurricane Irene is forecast to become at least a Category 3 hurricane and maintain that status and could be even higher than that as it makes uh, an approach to a, a potential landfall somewhere in the southeast U.S. But do you have candles? Along the eastern coast, many are already stocking up to stay safe. A lot of everything, basically. Water, non-perishable food, flashlight batteries. I need to get every last little thing that I can think of. A list former New Yorker Alex Dimas picked up on Google, hoping it'll get him through his first hurricane season in Florida. But this one really does look like it's coming. Preparing to secure his grandmother's roof, Dennis Martin says you can never be too cautious. A lesson Floridians learned 19 years ago this week when Hurricane Andrew changed lives and attitudes. I wasn't even prepared in Andrew. It was tough. But now I don't even wait. I just go grab what I need. Expert or rookie, surviving a hurricane means thinking ahead and not taking chances. So what to do if you're on Irene's path? Make sure not to wait till the last minute. Keep an emergency kit with enough water, food, and supplies for at least three days. And if you're told to evacuate, listen. And All right, Lily Luciano, thank you so much. And do take precautions yourself.